Who could suppose what together we'll find with every pair of shoes that we try? Sounds like it's raining cats and dogs out there. I don't see any cats or dogs. Just lots and lots of rain. <laughs> when it's raining cats and dogs, it means it's raining so much, you've never seen so much rain. I wish it was raining cats and dogs. That would be fun, at least. Rain's not so bad. Rain is no fun. No fun at all. There's nothing I don't like more in the whole world than rain. Now, Franny, you're not even trying to like rain. A new customer. Now that's something you like. Welcome. What can we do for you on this rainy day? I was vacationing on a sunny beach on the French Riviera, and my fancy sandals have lost their rhinestones. Sparkly sandals? <laughs> These bright and shiny sandals will be a pleasure to fix. They brighten up the whole shop like a ray of sunshine. In the fix-it box they go. <laughs> Where will my feet take me today? There's a beach, a cactus, a lizard. Hmm. Hey, oh. look out! Here I come! Watch it! Look out! Where are you? I don't see you. Over here! Look up! Coming in for a landing! Wow! So lost. Woe is me. Too lost, forgotten, so. <laughs> Hang on a sec. How do you know we're lost when we haven't even had a look around yet? Well, I have spent a lot of winters here in Mexico. Wait, did you say Mexico? Hmm, but if you're lost, how do you know we're in Mexico? Me and the gang were migrating, and we always come to Mexico. Only now, of course, I've completely lost them. Unless, of course, you've seen them. They've got long necks, feathers, white cheeks, black bills. They kind of look exactly like me, eh? Exactly. Hmm, no. I didn't see anyone like that, other than you. What's migrating? Migrating is when we all fly south together in a V-type formation for the winter. So migrating is like a winter vacation. No, it's not like a winter vacation. It's a ton of work. We have to get up super early, organize our flight formation, fly for 80, that's right, 80 hours at a time without even a snack. What kind of bird are you anyway? I'm Franny. I'm not a bird at all. Oh, nice to meet you, Franny. I'm Georgia, Canada Goose, nation's pride. Wait a second, did you say you're not a bird? Mm-mm. <laughs> not a bird. Hmm. I should have known by those tiny little stick wings of hers. I'm doomed, most definitely doomed forever. Wait, I may not be a bird, but I am a pretty smart girl. If you got lost, you must be able to get unlost, 
How about trying to retrace your steps for a start? That's weird. Try it. Fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoa! <clears throat> Eight, nine, ten. Then there. Or there, or there, or there. I don't know. See? Hopeless. Franny? Franny? <gasps> She's gone. Now I'm lost with a capital L. Double lost. Lost forever and ever. Um, Georgia, I'm right here. She's gone, but I still hear her voice like a sweet memory of a friendship gone forever. I am right here. Poor me. Lost forever and my newest friend vanished. I said I'm right here. Her voice echoing, echoing, echoing in my head. Oh, hello. Hi. I think I have a way to get us out of this pickle. How do the geese in your flock call each other? By name, of course. And we're not a flock, we're a gaggle. A gaggle of geese. Ha! Of course you wouldn't know that, you're not even a bird. Okay, okay. How do these geese in your gaggle call each other? They call me Georgia, they call Harry Harry, they call Barb Barb. No, no, no. I don't understand what you're getting at. How do you get each other's attention from very far away? Oh! We do what all geese do. We honk as loud as we can. Honk? Great! That's what people do, too, when they're in cars. Honk! 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 How's my honking? It's got spirit. So join in. You, too. Honk! 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 Ah, oh, forget it, Franny. I'll just stay here by myself, lost forever to the end of time. Just leave me. It's been nice knowing you. <sighs> Come on, don't give up so easily. There must be something we haven't tried yet. Something that will get their attention. Something we haven't hmm. tried. Hmm. Your sandals! They're bright and shiny. Bright and shiny like... like the sun! <laughs> hey! That's a grandpa said. That's how I saw you from the sky, and I bet everyone else would see them too. Well, don't give up now. We have to honk louder. Honk, 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 Look, look. It's your gaggle. Georgia. Harry. We've been looking all over for you, Georgie. The clouds were too thick to see anything until we heard all your wild honking and saw those bright, shiny sandals. Oh, smart thinking, eh? The sandals worked. You were right, Franny. What do you mean? Waving the sandals was your idea. But you taught me how to keep trying and never give up. Say, why don't you take your sandals and come with us? We could sure use a positive thinker like you on board. Thanks, Georgia. But I have to be getting back to Grandpa. Grandpa? Where's that? Is that your winter spot? How are you going to get there with those skimpy wings? <laughs> Bye. Thanks for everything, Flanny. Don't forget to write. Bye. See you again sometime. That was honkerific. <laughs> A goose feather, yay! <laughs> Another treasure for my shoebox.
Fantastic! Look at all that rain. I thought you didn't like rain more than anything else in the whole world, Franny. I wasn't even trying to like rain before. But Georgia and I figured out that when you keep trying, things turn out great. Georgia? Who's Georgia? One of your dolls? No. She's a goose in Mexico, silly. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go outside, Grandpa. So you are trying to like rain, Franny. Yep, and it worked. I love rain for puddle jumping. <laughs> Where will my feet take me tomorrow? What's the matter, Franny? A spider crawled into those shoes. A spider? Oh, why don't you help me take it outside where it belongs? I don't like spiders. They're nothing to be afraid of, Franny. It won't hurt you. Hmm. I don't want to. A customer. Hello. How can we be of service on this fine day? I was downhill skiing in the back country of Bavaria, and now my boots are quite scuffed. Don't worry. They'll glisten like snow when I'm finished with them. Into the fix -a box they go. <laughs> Where will my feet take me today? I heard somebody fall. I'm okay. Thanks for asking. But where am I? You're at the ski hill. And it's a special day today. It's the Ice Sculpture Festival. I'm Franny. What's your name? I'm Bentley. Bentley the Ski Patrol Dog. I work here. Well, I haven't really worked yet. But I am supposed to work here. You mean you travel up and down those high, snowy slopes rescuing people? Yes. Uh, I mean, no. Well, actually, I've never even been on the slopes. I don't understand. Aren't you a ski patrol dog? My trainer, Trevor, is working without me. You see, it's not that I mind heights. It's just that they're very, well, high. Oh. And I'm sort of small. Well, I'm not really that small. But I feel small when I'm on the hill. And, oh, I'm afraid of heights. I'm sure it's not as bad as all that. Oh, but it is. I'm a ski patrol dog. I'm supposed to be brave and courageous. But really, I'm just a big coward. I used to be afraid to go on the big slide at the playground. Then one day, I decided I was just going to do it. So I took it one step at a time until I made it all the way to the top. If only I had that kind of courage. Don't worry, Bentley. You will. Just like this, Bentley. One step at a time. You'll be fine. You'll see. Oh, are you sure about this? Of course. You'll just have to put one paw in front of the other until you reach the top. It'll be good practice for the ski hill. I suppose so. You're doing terrific, Bentley. Uh, maybe this isn't such a good idea. But you're doing so well. Just a little further. Oh, oh. oh no! Are you okay, Bentley? I'm fine.
fine. Except for my pride. Oh, I'll never be a brave rescue dog. I can't even climb up a slide. You're a good climber, Bentley. You just get nervous when you look down. Hey, I have an idea. But I can't see anything, Franny. <laughs> That's the idea. You're a big, strong dog. You can pull me up the hill, and you won't be afraid, because you won't be able to see down. Oh, I get it. Good thinking, Franny. Yes, it's a dog-proof plan. <laughs> mush, mush! <laughs> You're doing a fantastic job, Bentley. <laughs> Bentley, you're climbing the hill. Hey, Trevor. <laughs> Yikes. I'm so sorry, Franny. Are you okay? <laughs> yep, that was a fun ride. It's too bad we didn't make it all the way up the hill. Oh, it's no use. I may as well pack my bags and go. Well, I would if I had any bags. Don't talk like that, Bentley. There must be something we can do. There is. Could you please go up the hill for me and get my trainer? I'd like to say goodbye to him before I go. Goodbye? Are you sure you want to give up trying, Bentley? Yes. I've made up my mind. I'll never be brave enough to climb the hill. It's time for me to go now. All right, Bentley. I'll come back with your trainer. Franny has left one of her ski poles behind. She can't ski down with just one pole. She could get hurt. Franny! You forgot your ski pole. Oh, no. She can't hear me. Franny! My ski pole! Where did it go? I can't ski back down with only one pole. What will I do? Hmm. Franny? Huh? You forgot your ski pole, Franny. Bentley! Thank you. I was wondering how I would get back down. <gasps> Bentley! You did it! You climbed the hill! You're right. I did it! I climbed the hill! And it wasn't so bad. Being up here is sort of like being down there, only higher. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. Bentley, I'm glad to see you up here. Bentley climbed up the hill to bring me my ski pole. He was worried about keeping me safe, just like a real ski patrol dog. That's terrific, Bentley. Now you and I can work as a team. Gosh, golly gee whiz, Trevor. Thanks. Come on, Franny! You can do it! Whee! <laughs> well done, Franny! That was fantabulous! I could ski all day long. But I should really be going now. My grandpa will be wondering where I am. Thanks for helping me climb the ski hill. I won't be afraid anymore. You're welcome, Bentley. Bye, Franny. Goodbye! Bye, Bentley. Bye, Trevor. <laughs> that was ski rific. <gasps> A patch, just like the one Bentley wore.
another treasure for my shoebox. Now then, to take care of that spider. How will you catch the spider, Grandpa? Hmm. This will do. I'll just scoop up the spider with the box and take it outside where it belongs. You don't have to be afraid of me, little spider. I won't hurt you. There you go. Well done, Franny. But I thought you were afraid of spiders. If Bentley can climb the mountain, then I can help you take out the spider. Well, that's good. But who's Bentley? A ski patrol dog. He was scared to climb to the top of the mountain, but I helped him get over his fear of heights. Good for you. <laughs> now, why don't we take Mr. Spider outside, huh? Good idea. Where will my feet take me tomorrow?